it's 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 it is a great great feeling to see all of y'all here. It's also great to know that my team purchased these cool uh, microphone uh, flags too. I'm like, wait a minute, we actually got budget to do this stuff now. That's pretty cool. Um, hey everybody, like she said, my name is Justin. I am the founder and CEO of uh, Render ATL. I'm not gonna do no long church introduction right now. We're gonna get right into it with the uh, first question, which is what is career karma? Yeah, so career karma is, we create software for employers like Google to help them attract, reskill, and upskill employees. So for employers that want to attract talent, they leverage our consumer app that we started five years ago that now has about two and a half million um, people a month coming to us looking for career advice. For employers that want to reskill and upskill employees, we leverage our product in order to help them find the right career pathways and give them support along the way. Um, we did Y Combinator winter 2019. We have some of our early investors like Joel Burks here. We have people that have gone through career karma and gotten jobs sitting here on this row. And so it, it feels really good to be here. Amazing. And, and just to follow up that, because I heard the word Google and I also heard the word tech equity collective. What is that? So everybody here like knows. What's up everyone? I'm Rachelle. Uh, so Tech Equity Collective is a Google initiative that was created to accelerate black innovation in tech. It was born after the murder of George Floyd where some Googlers came together and said, we need to do, we have to do more. And more, we were thinking more specifically around racial equity and economic empowerment. And I think we're all here because we know that the opportunities that exist in tech for us to bring our innovation, bring our Im imagination and to drive that. And so Tech Equity Collective is creating the programs in order to do that. But we're also leveraging the partnerships, whether it's with organizations like A Career Karma or whether other tech companies that's doing the same work for us to come together and pool our resources so that we can expedite um, and make the change systemic and sustainable. And then we also just want to dis demystify tech, right? Like I think every one of us in this room has everything it takes to make it to and to make it through tech. And so we just want to help uh, facilitate that along other programs and opportunities like Render um, or Career Karma. So it, it sounds like y'all are the uh, Avengers of like tech over here. You know, it's, 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 it has me questioning like, people are always placed in particular rooms for a particular um, reason. And this reasoning here has got me questioning, how did this all come to uh, be? Like, how did y'all two uh, meet and what does this mean right here? I hit him in the DMs. Oh, that's, okay, that's okay. What, that's okay. what happened. Okay, there we go. No, it, it's what happened. So, um, so I took this role, and I think many of you probably have heard of Career Karma and the work that they're doing. So when I stepped into this role, I was thinking about who, who are the people that's doing this work. So one thing about TEC, um, we don't believe that we have the keys. There's people like Justin, like Ruben, that's out here doing the work. And so we just want to partner so that we can amplify the work, integrate into the work, or incubate new work together. And so I slid into his DMs and was like, hey, Ruben, Harris, you want to, like, work together? I got no reply. <laughs> um, and then I was like, okay, let me go to the website and info at Career Karma. No reply. And I was like, all right, cool. So then I stalked him um, at, another, at another tech conference. So, like, I had perfect placement, and a homeboy walked by. He had a little entourage with him, too. And I was like, Ruben Harris. <laughs> it sounded like Ruben. Yeah, it sounded like, like Ruben, for real. It sounded like Ruben, yeah. right? <laughs> he had, like, a, a little bit of an entourage. And I was like, excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Ruben, um, and so I, ta I told him about Tech Equity Collective, and yeah, that was, that was how, we, how we connected, and literally within weeks, right? Like, I think sometimes, too, at these conferences, there's a lot of talking, a lot of relationship building, follow up, um, and so we did, we followed up, and then we jumped right into ideation, and then within three weeks, we created what I think is really dope, uh, which is Black Genius Academy. I mean, Ra Rachelle is about that action. I mean, when we it was November. We met in November. Um, she said, um, she said, pitch me. And I pitched her an idea, and she said, dream bigger. She said, this is Google. Like, this is black people. This is geniuses. Like, dream bigger. I was like, you sure? I want to help a billion people. <laughs> she was like, shoot for it. And we did it, and sure enough, she was about that action. She scoped it up. We had the paperwork done, and then we started building. And we were building, and now we're ready to launch something to the world, and it's, it's really exciting. See, it's always 
a dangerous statement to tell an entrepreneur to dream a, a bigger. Because that usually leads us to a, a bankruptcy uh, very quickly. <laughs> but with that being said, you did dream big. Uh, both of y'all did dream uh, big. And what does that dream mean now? What do, what do we plan for the uh, Genius Color elective to now do? So you want to talk about Black Genius Academy or what does dreaming mean? What does the dreaming mean, but also talking about the academy too? Start, start off with the dream. Talk about Tech Equity Collective. Yeah, 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 I can start with the dream. Um, it's the reason why you create a render, right? Like you, our world is impacted by technology. And too many times we as black people are the consumers um, and not the builders, not the archi architects, not the designers. And for, for TEC, we want you all to, you all, we all, to dream, right? To dream and to build and to grow, right? Like the technology that's impacting our lives, we, it, it should be not just built for us, right? Because a lot of companies are like, yeah, we wanna build for you, not as cool, but build with me. I want it to be by me. That's um, powerful. That's yeah, powerful and thing. so I think that that is, that is the dreaming, but we also know that unfortunately in our community, there's an exposure gap, right? You can't be what you can't see. And so with you know, opportunities like we're sitting in right now, we want people to see it and be it. And so when we think about Black Genius Academy and Ruben, I think he talks really well about what we created is, that's just the first step right, is bringing you to a space where you're like, oh shoot, I could do this, I could be this, right, and to really help you understand like what, I don't, I still am trying to learn what does it mean to be a software engineer, and I'm in this space, right, and so I imagine for those of us who may not have the friend or may not have the cousin or family member, right, it's hard to dream, but let's be real, the moment you give us the tools, the moment you give us the equipment, it's over, you know, it's over, it's over, right? Like anything we touch, we turn to magic. And so I do think that that's what we want to do at TEC is that, and again, we don't want to do it alone. We want to do it with the partners. We want to do it with the renders, with the career karmas, with the metas, with the apples, right? We want to do it with people so that anything you all touch turns to, turns to gold. Um, and then I, I'd say the last thing about, about dreaming is we really want it to be like, we're not, I know this session was like all roads lead to employers. Yeah, yeah. You are the employer. We don't want you to just come work at Google or Meta, right? Like go work at a startup, go work at a block startup, go start your own company, be your own employer. Um, so there's no limit to, to the dreaming. And so we do believe that Black Genius Academy is, um, is that first touch point. And so Ruben, you wanna talk about that? Yeah, so, so I, I think she said it perfectly, I think. So, so for people that don't know, Black Genius Academy is an app that gives an action plan to black people here at Render and all over the world to help them get a career in tech. You could log into it on your phone or on your computer and quickly get access to reskilling and upskilling resources, coaching support, and a network of companies like Google and others and, and organizations like MLT to give you support to help you navigate your career. We're starting with 5,000 black people, oh my and God. our ambition, 5,000, yes, thank you for calling it out, 5,000 to start, but our ambition is to grow it to 100,000 people, bring in 10 other companies to get it to at least a million, because again, I want to have a billion people in the next 10 years, so that's where we're starting. Um, it's also important to understand that not, o not only are we going to be training people in how to learn how to become software engineers or designers or, or cybersecurity people, but it's also important for us to make sure that black people are learning the most up-to-date technology that isn't even being taught in college. So stay tuned for that. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Um, and if, if you are someone that wants to learn how to code or break into tech, it's blackgeniusacademy.com. And if you're an employer that wants to be part of Tech Equity Collective, you know, that's what we're here to figure out how we can collaborate, not just with employers, like she said, but also renders and organizations. And, and our ambition is all the same. Like renders mission is, is beautiful, right? A lot of people are working on the same things and career company just wants to be the software that's the glue to bring it all together. Can I, can I double click um, on something? Thank you, Ruben. I just want to click on Black Genius Academy. When we came together to create this, 
it like our teams are so meticulous where it's like this is for the black experience right like we comb through the words we comb through the content we comb through the people that show up because when we create something we truly want it to be by the community for the community right and so i think ruben and our teams we go back and forth and i'm like is it black enough Right? And like, and not on some like, oh, melt it down, but like, does it truly speak to our experience? Are we truly giving the community the keys, right? Like, the real keys. And another thing that's really important too is mindset shift, right? Like, we come, it's like, yeah, we got everything it takes. We got what it takes to make it to and through tech. But sometimes it's our mind, right? Where we're like, oh my gosh, do I belong? Like, one thing at TEC, we do not, we, I, we do not talk about imposter syndrome. Right, like I, there's no room for it. I'm like the amount of work it takes for us to overcome to get into room. Like, why should we walk in and be imposter syndrome? And so we talk about that in the in Black Genius Academy, where we're like, we're not only just giving you the tools and introducing you to like how to be a software engineer or a UX designer, but also how to shift your mindset. So when you do step into that coding boot camp, when you do step into that technical interview, and when you eventually step into that com that company, you're like ready you are confident you're not like do i belong here like hell yeah you belong like you worked work for it you earn it so um so yeah so bga is very much designed for um for the community in mind uh, one more thing i forgot to mention is like this, the the title of this talk is all roads leading to employers to her point but again it's not just about jobs um when we talk about the dream you know, career karma and, and TEC is not successful if we just get a lot of people jobs that make them a lot of money. That's important, but one of my controversial opinions, I think, is that the cost of education is gonna go down to zero. It's gonna be primarily funded by government, nonprofits, and companies, just like it is today. If you think about people that wanna go to college, most of the time it comes with the government. We'll see if that happens. That's a career karma view, not a anybody else view, but that's, it's an interesting view. And the reason why I say that is because BGA is free and is being funded by employers. This is very important to understand because education benefits have existed for a very long time. Most companies provide things like tuition reimbursement to their people, but we really want to figure out how to put the companies in a position where they're providing education as a benefit at scale to empower billions of people. So that's important. So, so even though we're talking about what it means currently when everything comes out, where do you see this program in the next 20 years or 30 years? Who do you want to say that you've impacted and that you've changed their lives and you left your uh, mark here? Because as you know, the highest calling as an entrepreneur is you know, being able to like, reach back and help, a, help a, another person. Uh, both of y'all are obviously uh, very entrepreneurial minded and our audience is here too. So how would you like to say in the next 20 years that yeah. the Academy have helped? I'll start from my perspective. A lot of times when people think about career karma, they say boot camps. But I actually think that there's all kinds of different training that's gonna exist in the future. There's gonna be you know, the Grow With Google certificates. There's gonna be um, massive open online courses like Coursera and Udemy. There's gonna be individuals teaching their own courses on, on how to learn. And so I think that in the future, it's not just gonna be training taught by teachers even. There'll, there'll be individuals teaching. I think that's, that's important. Um, something else to think about is networks, not credentials, move careers. So it's not just creating a network of learners. Some people here wanna get into tech. Some people are already in tech and some people are, you know, have their own companies. But, you know, if there's not a lot, if there's not a lot of black people in tech, how come we don't all know each other? And why aren't we all organized online in some kind of way? I think it's very important for us to be able to find exactly who we want to find in our space digitally and physically, mm -hmm. right? And if we want to do something together, if I am a founder that works on an enterprise sales team, like my guy Jared in the back, I see you bro, right? And he wants to find a technical co-founder, then he should be able to find an engineer that wants to start something together. And you actually don't have to quit your job to start a company. Create something on the side. 
do a hackathon, jo join these workshops. The workshops here are amazing. And then whenever you solve a problem for people, then you're gonna change it. So the, the, the long story short, so I don't ramble too long, is um, our ambition isn't just to get black people at parity with the census and getting them represented in tech. We wanna go beyond representation and establish black people as the forward thinking, ambitious geniuses like they are in other industries like sports tech, sports music and, and movies and, and put them in the rightful position as kings and queens in, 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 the, in the tech industry. Thank you, um, I'm here for that dream. Um, my dream is 20 years from now when we're all at Render, there's not 2,600 of us but there's 260,000 of us, Ooh, right? Yes, like, amen. <laughs> um, amen. Because we, uh, like, like, I could receive it, right? I think the, the dream is that I want to work for a company. Google has 125,000 people that works for it. I would love for that company to be led not by Steve Jobs, but by a Laquan or by Shanika. Um, and it's 125,000 of us in the building, like creating technology that is impacting the world, not just our community, but the world. And so, and I would love to say that Tech Equity Collective with our partners, with other companies, with other thought leaders was instrumental in building um, and driving this black innovation into, into the tech space. Um, so yeah, so that's my dream. I, I think you wanna comment on your dream. The, the other thing that's my dream is I want to go beyond like begging for a job, begging for capital, like complaining about like how, I, there's, I don't want barriers anymore. There's literally trillions of dollars that exist out here. And we talked about this at the Ecosystem Connect a couple of days ago. If you say the right thing to the right people at the right times, like you can unlock money, but a lot of people don't know who the right people are and what to say to them. And so we want to figure out how to unlock a capital piece. And so we, we have, conversations that we're having about how to create something with a similar name that has a fund behind it. Oh, oh well, uh, there's a quote uh, that goes, a, uh, a vision without action is uh, merely a dream. But I could tell that y'all are really gonna make this thing happen. And uh, this isn't a dream, this is an actual action that we're gonna see come to uh, life in the next couple of years, weeks, months. You start even. in June. Huh? Yeah, I was like, I was like, BGA drops in June. Oh, oh see, so, so, so see, see, I, I was just about to ask, how can people learn more about this action? Not the dream, but the action now. I appreciate that. Um, so one, take out your phones, go to blackgeniusacademy.com, right? Join the wait list. And real talk, Black Genius Academy may not be for you, right? Because you may be more advanced in your tech career, um, but it might be for your cousins. It might even be for your mother who's looking to transition into a new role, right? It might be for, you know, your homeboys who are looking to explore a new opportunity. So definitely go to Black Genius Academy. I think one, one other thing is that when, when we think about at Tech Equity Collective, we're thinking about the pathway through tech, right? So if the first pathway is exposure, right? So you go in a Black Genius Academy, you get exposed to the opportunities. The next step is then you do your boot camp. There are scholarships. So that's another thing too is that once you do, once you complete Black Genius Academy, you can also apply for a scholarship so that you can go to a coding boot camp or to do a paid certificate program so that you can actually lock in on that skill. And then we have an, another program called Tech Prep, which is a partnership with MLT Management Leadership for Tomorrow, where we have in our first cycle, we have 1,500 black folk who are going through a four month career coaching program. So they work one on one with a career coach on different modules so that they work on personal clarity, they work on understanding their personal roadmap, they work on executive presence, they work on technical interviewing. So we partner with organizations like Brilliant Black Minds, that's downstairs, mm -hmm. right? Because we want to make sure you have all the tools so when you walk into the interview and into the company, you are ready and prepared. Um, so, so yeah, so definitely go to Tech Equity Collective collective.com to learn more, follow us on Graham, Tech Equity Collective, Tech Equity Collective, and then Career Karma. Yeah, no, that's it. I mean, I think the only thing that I'll add is like, if you are, again, an employer that wants to join Tech Equity Collective, we want to brainstorm with you too, right? These are, these are things that we've dreamt together, but we want to dream with you too. So keep, bring the ideas, let's collaborate, let's build, let's put action into it, you know, and, and we'll go from there. You have a question? What's the question?
Um, okay. So two things. One, meet me in the Q&A room. Um, and I just want a, sh a shout out. Um, so TC, we did a $1 million impact fund, right? You are a recipient. So one thing that we believe is decentralizing the opportunity, right? So while, yes, Google could, we could co go out and create a new program, right, and drop that money. No, we wanted to make sure that we were giving that money to the organizations like Black Sisters in STEM, which I'm speaking on a panel tonight, so I'll see you tonight. Um, but. <laughs> um, yeah, we wanna make sure that we are giving that opportunity, right? Giving you an opportunity to grow and to build like just like an ML, ML, MLT. So I think that um, that work is already being done. Um, but yeah, 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 I, I feel you on that. All right, give our amazing panelists a round of applause, y'all. Can we have a round of applause? Like we are here because of Justin right now. Like brother, talk about action and a dream, okay? so. Appreciate Thank you. you. Appreciate you. Again, y'all, please make sure y'all go check this out. This is an amazing, amazing resource for you. We want to see this dream come to action. And it's coming to action this upcoming couple weeks, right? Couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, we drop in June. Yeah. June, a couple weeks. So there we go. All right, y'all, if you have any questions, a Q&A room, join us over there. Happy to talk more. All right, thank you. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate it.